Salam, I am David. Welcome to the Ozeki Camera SDK Video Guide Tutorial Part 6. In this chapter, we will create a simple project to connect USB camera and the IP camera. And then, we will learn how to record video with them. This is the 6th video guide from our C-Sharp.net Camera Tutorial Series, in which we present how to use Ozeki Camera SDK to develop different kind of camera solutions. This SDK is OnWiv compliant, easy to use and effective. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced C-Sharp developer, you will certainly be able to implement the solutions presented in this tutorial video if you use this camera SDK. This is gonna be a great video series, they contain short and practical code explanation. I hope you will enjoy it. In this video, the main steps are the following. First step, download the SDK from the website. Second step, create WPF solution in Visual Studio. Third step, Implementing the Camera Viewer application. Fourth step, extend the application with recording video function. And finally, the fifth step, check the result and we try out our application. And let's start now with the step one. First of all, let's download the necessary SDK from the camera-sdk.com. Click on the download, then click on the link. Then add a name, an email, and finally a reason why you need this SDK. And then click on the Alc button. Now you see the downloading link. Click on it and install it. How about the installation? You can find more information in the quick start section. After the installation, let's create a new WPF solution project in the Visual Studio. Click on the new project and choose the WPF and give a name. And select the folder where you want to save. When the project is exist, then we add the SD key to the references. We can add it where the installer put it. Now you can see the it in the reference list. Next step is to create the graphical user interface. We can do it in the XAML file. There we will need two buttons for USB camera connection and disconnection. And then we also need the same for the IP camera, but here we have to add three text boxes where we can add the connection data, like address of the camera, username, and password as well. And then the related buttons. Now we add the necessary event handlers for the connection and disconnection buttons. And finally we set the Windows property. After that we can deal with the control. 
Firstly, we add the essential namespaces, which are come from the Ozeki camera SD key. Then, we add the necessary objects to display the image of the IP and USB camera, like Video Viewer VPF, Bitmap Source Provider, IP Camera, Web Camera, and the connector. In the constructor, we instantiate the above objects. Then we call a half function. We create this half function, which create and set the video viewer object and add it to the user interface. Now we establish the USB camera connection event handler. Here we create a web camera object and connect it to the bitmap source provider and then start the camera. Then we implement the USB camera disconnection where we stop the video viewer and the web camera. At IP camera for the connection we add the camera address, the username and the password. Then we can start the camera. The disconnection happens like at the USB camera. Now we come back to extend the user interface with two buttons, which will start and stop capturing the video. In the XAML file, after we added the necessary elements, then for them we generate two event handler methods. Next step is to declare two new fields in order to record a video. These objects are an iVideo sender object and an MPEG4 recorder object. We instantiate them at USB camera connection and at IP camera connection. Now we can deal with the starting button. In order to every capture have a unique name, then the name will contain the current date and time.
the save folder we have built the place of the program. Now we instantiate the recorder and subscribe an event handler method for the multiplex finished event. Then connect the video sender and the recorder. After this we create the event handler method. Our first thing is to unsubscribe from the event and dispose the recorder. A stop capturing we disconnect and call the multiplex method which create to us the video. And now check the result. Let's try at IP camera first. Add the necessary data, IP address of the camera, username and the password. Because this is the trial version, it could happen this image will wait for us for a few moments. And now you can see the moving leaves. Now start the capture, then stop it. Let's see what it did. It works. Now check the USB camera. Now start the capture. Then stop it. Let's see what it did. It works as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you want to learn more about Photo Grid solution provided by Ozeki Camera SDK, then download the trial version from our website, camerasdk.com and follow our tutorial videos. For more information, check out our website and if you have any question, send us an email to info at camerasdk.com. In the next chapter, I will show you how to build a motion detection application. It's gonna be exciting. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.